Put a smile on your face and pretend like you love Jesus. <laughs> okay. If I'm gonna be able to. Yep, I did. And there you have it, see? We're trying to get the traps out and um, see if there are like coons in the traps. Gonna push down on this right here, triggering that door. Okay, so. <laughs> All right, get back, ready? All right, so while my kids are trying to pull these traps up, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what we're gonna do today. We are going to get four dog-proof coon cuffs designed to catch coons and nothing else. And we're gonna take them from this feeder where I've trapped three coons for a friend of mine because they were destroying this uh, feeder of his. We're gonna move them out to one of our feeders and just kind of do a how-to on how to trap raccoons with coon cuffs. We also have two live traps that we're gonna set. My prediction is they're gonna get caught in the coon cuffs, not the live trap, but hey, we might catch one in the live trap also. So we're gonna go over bare essentials, what you need to catch coons, what bait we use, what trap we actually use, and how we set them. So here we go. Wait, you should remember, uh, Mom, when she got stuck. <laughs> how does it, you're gonna have to cut it. All right, so this right here is a dog proof, dog proof coon cuff, okay? These are safe to use around pets. Coyotes won't get in them, bobcats can't get in them. Uh, I believe a coon is about the only thing this thing will catch. This is made by Duke. Um, it's just a cheap, I, mean, I wanna say these things are like $10 a piece, they're not expensive. You can go to Atwoods and buy these things. It just comes with a little short chain and it comes with a little swivel on the end. Some people drive these in the ground with a piece of rebar. What I like to do is typically I set my coon traps around feeders, so there's always some type of a leg of a feeder or a fence, or there's uh, some type of fencing like hog panels that I can just take a little piece of wire and just wire it to the fence. So that in itself is pretty simple. You can see down inside the hole, I don't know how well you can see that down inside of there, but there is a trigger that activates right here. Click, 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 click. I don't know if you can see it. So here's the swivel of the trigger right here. So when you squeeze this spring together, I'll try to do it right here while I'm videoing. I'm gonna squeeze this spring all the way down. I'm gonna squeeze this in, this lever pulls down over and goes into this trigger here. So I'm gonna use two hands and squeeze like crazy. <clears throat> okay, lever folds over. Here is the actual trigger that sets from the inside, okay how well you can see that there right here is the trigger okay now this thing is fully set it's a wide open hole i'll put bait down inside of here which i'll go ahead and talk about that now um, typically i use tuna sardine something like that coons really like if you read online they'll tell you to use marshmallows marshmallows work but they don't have a lot of scent so i know for for a fact that tuna and sardines will draw a coon from long ways away so that's what i like to use so this thing is set here with this trigger set when they reach inside of there and they grab that little lever and pull up it sets off this little trigger right here bang this slips up boom this right here has just pulled their foot to the side of this trap and holds them in place until you can get to them so the trap itself is pretty simple. We are going to gather up, well, we got three more here that the boys are trying to get now. Uh, so we're gonna have four of these coon traps. I've got two live traps in the back of my truck. We're gonna gather these up, run to another spot and set them. All right, I'm gonna see, this one's already set. Uh, it's one of the ones we just gathered up and it's still set. I'm gonna try my best to try to set this thing off with this handle, this plier, if I can set the trigger. So here we go. I'm gonna go in and try to grab the lever and pull up. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Yep, I did. And there you have it, see? Just pulls, that wire just pulls straight over to the side of the trap. Man, yo my, that is, grab that, grab it. Pull as hard as you can. 
Oh, there it goes. And that's a slick piece of rubber. So you see how hard it is for a coon to get its foot out of there. So that's the concept behind the trap. Now stick your finger in there. Okay, so here's just your basic cage trap. I don't know if anybody would really need to know this. I'll go over it really quick, but there's nothing fancy about it. It just has a plate back here in the back that lifts up when you pull this rod right here. You pull this rod that's guided through these holes. The only important part, if I can show you this, the most important part is that this little lever here that's holding your door up is underneath your door. And then this rod holds that little piece of wire out there. And when something pushes down there, this door falls. And I'll show that now. So if something comes back here towards the back to get the bait, it's going to push down on this right here, triggering that door. And this right here is a safety that keeps that door from coming up also, so the coon can't come out after it's caught. So that's a live trap in a nutshell. Okay trap is attached to the tree okay I don't want to be putting bait in this trap once it's set because then you have a chance of firing it off so little star kiss chunk tuna and my wife's mommy's <laughs> can't <laughs> open her don't tell her I brought it out here in the country so I really don't want that stuff all over my gloves so I'm gonna take some tuna just a couple little chunks here nothing crazy Got that oil on the top. I'm actually gonna put a little of that oil on the trigger where it's a little more easily to set off, where it's a little more easy to set off. You gotta squeeze this booger, push the lever over. Here's my trigger. I like to set the trigger, I push the trigger as far in as I can, and then I always back it up just, whoop, too much. I go all the way in, I back it up just a hair like that. So he reaches in there and grabs that trigger and moves just a tiny bit and it's gonna latch onto him. Now, I'm gonna kinda hide that chain a little bit. And you want your, I'm not putting my finger in the hole, obviously. I'm gonna push it down as deep as I can. And we just had a rain, so it's pretty soft. What you don't want <clears throat> is it to be in such soft ground like sand that they reach in and grab that trigger and go to pull and the whole entire trap move. Because if the whole trap moves, then the trigger can't fire, right? Yeah. So I want this solid. I want them to be able to grab that trigger and pull and whack. It gets their finger, or it gets their paw. So we're going to do one, two, three more of those right here in real cl close proximity. Set these two live traps right in here. I'm going to set that trail camera up to video tonight. And hopefully it'll actually catch a coon walking in here and getting caught at the same time. What do y'all think we'll catch him in live trap or coon coves? Oh. What's your what's your guess? Live trap. Live trap. Live trap. Okay, they think they're gonna be in live trap. I'll say coon cuff just to go against them. We'll bet a dollar. How about that? No. <laughs> okay. Yes. 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 Sure. All right, we're betting a dollar on it. See who wins. Yesterday we went and run the traps. Uh, it was morning number one of running the traps after setting them the day before. Did not have a single coon. Uh, that is out of the norm. We're used to catching one or two or three coons after the very first set. Guess what? Huh? That sucker pulled loose. He's not even in here. He's not even in He's not even in it. He got out. That little turd. I'm glad I was videoing live. We just pulled up here. Uh, day two, we actually had a big coon in the trap. I can show the pictures and hopefully I might have a little video of it on the trail camera, but I'm looking at it right now. And that little turd got out. I mean, that's the one he was in. You could tell it's all messed up and he got out. Oh, boy, we got him. Now, does he have a front foot? That's the next question. Hey, Cooney. <coughs> Hey, hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy. You have a front foot or are you the one that chewed it off? Man, that is a fat coon, holy smokes. My camera's trying to fog up on me so I'll make this short and sweet. This is day number three. We caught one in the live trap. He is not the one that pulled out because we had one pull out and mess his foot all up and his foot is fine. 
So this is day three, caught one in the live trap. The boys are going back and forth with me on the bet because originally I said, first one be caught in a leg hold. And it was caught in a leg hold, but it pulled out for whatever reason. They normally don't do that. But caught the first one day one, leg hold. This is day three, we didn't have anything yesterday. I'm sorry, day one, didn't have anything at all. Day two, we caught a coon in the leg hold, he pulled out. Day three, we got one in the uh, live trap here. So we gotta argue about who gets the dollar bet here. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. That is a how-to on how to catch a coon in a trap.